anyway, let's go ahead and I guess to get to everybody's favorite part of the broadcast. And I'm talking about Radio Graffiti! That's right, folks. Radio Graffiti, the part of the broadcast where the spectators become a part of the spectacle. All you've got to do is give me a call right now. We're going to put the number right on top of the chat box there. Here, let's bring it down a little bit since since we're no longer having dumbass Vaughn chat all right, on the damn screen because they're jerks. But there it is right there. There's the number, 667-770-1015. And once the operator bit starts talking, you push in the code 844286. And once you do, you will be in queue to be a part of Radio Graffiti. And when I call on your area code or on your name, you've got exactly four to five seconds to say whatever it is that's on your mind. That's why we call this Radio Graffiti. Does everybody understand that? Got it? Good. All right. With that being said, do we have any Radio Graffiti callers to be had, Engineer? All right, I'm sorry, we're getting late, Engineer. Engineer, you know, he doesn't like when we do these Friday nights. You know, he likes to, you know, have some pizza and, you know, do what you tards like to do, unfortunately. I'm not calling you a tard, Engineer. You know, you know, I, you know I'm not calling you a tard, right? Uh, all right, anyway, let's go ahead and connect to the Radio Graffiti line, all right? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. What you're about to hear is troll hell. So here we go. There are 29 participants Holy in the shit. conference. Holy shit! Get that shit up! Oh, God. I can already sense this is going to be a fucking stupid fucking radio group. I can already fucking see it, man. I, You know what? I need another shot, all right? Viking Kyle's over here. And, you know, one minute... I put up all of Friday, the song. I can see a stupid-ass fucking complaining about, oh, here he goes with more degeneracy. And yet, on another fucking rumble rant, he's like, no, so why'd you fucking drink? Don't be a pussy. What? You can't have it both ways, you dick. Anyway, let me take a shot and then we'll get to Radio Graffiti, all right? All right, uh, let's do another toast, all right? Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, fucking piece of shit coward trolls we hate the fucking most, all right? Cheers, baby, cheers, all right? <laughs> Buy that for a dollar. Pick up 734. All right. Well, good. Well, we'll have to do that one first then. All right. Here we go. Is everybody ready for Radio Graffiti? Here we go. 734 Radio Graffiti. Uh, 734 Radio Graffiti. Uh, 734, are you there? You just donated, you prick. Are you kidding me? Dude, uh, you are you can talk. 734, we can't hear you. I don't know. What... Say something, you idiot! Is that Stone Santa? What an idiot. I, I don't even want to say Helen Keller deaf mute after all the shit we've done with those poor fucking deaf vlogger people, man. All right. Let's continue. How about uh, 413 Radio Graffiti? Everybody in the chat got to join the pirate right. So we can pirate all of those shitty AI-generated movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck you with a pirate right. All right. Fuck you. All right. Let me tell you something. You people are just upset that my fucking uh, AI generations of songs and shit outmatches all of you jerk offs. All right. I mean, that's why Backa Survivor is always pissed. You know, he's just. He wishes that he had the linguistic capability to be able to make the kind of bangers that I'm making on, on Ghost Politics channel on YouTube. All right? He only wishes. All right, who else do we have? How about 760 Radio Graffiti? Hey, this is Mike D. How are you tonight? Hey, what's up, Mike D? How you doing, man? Uh, I'm feeling good on a summer full moon weekend. Uh you did not know what an Okie is? I have family in Tulsa. Uh, they're Oklahomans, technically. No, I know what that meant. I, I, I thought it, you know they were inferring something else. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I guess Okie could mean uh, white trash. As what, here in California, people call you an Okie. They suspect you have grandparents who came as prune pickers. 
Hey, uh, Mike, why is everybody in the Vaughn chat talking shit about you, man? Uh, because they think I'm competing against West Coast capitalists and Al Chappers, although I've been on there longer than these two. I don't think you're trying to compete with them. Why are they giving you shit, man? Look at all these fucking people in Vaughn chat talking crap. <laughs> well... Because they know I'm really autistic and I'm really a FAG, so uh, they're envy that I must got special treatment or, you know, uh, well, it's on them. It's not on me. So you are a homosexual? Uh, gender fluid, and uh, and I've been questioning my gender identity for many years now, uh, and I am actually on the autism spectrum, so... They really think I'm. Not so, sure so you're you're, you're considering, you're potentially considering transitioning. I don't know, but uh, I've been more trans feminine in the past two years. Well, let me ask you this: What is it about the lore of being a transitioned male to female that drives you towards there? Is it sexual? Is it a certain identity that you want to be identified as by your sexual partner? What is the lore? I think it's uh, your identity. Uh, I am attracted to women in this case, so uh, it's an identity thing. It has nothing to do with fetish or kink. Or Wait a minute. They Hold on. Make Hold on just a second. You're going to transition from male to female so that you can bang women? Is that what you're telling me? No. They're making shit up on the bong shop. So you want to be, so look, if you are a transgender <laughs> I'd buy woman, that for a dollar. so do you want Try again. male or female? Uh, female. Well, why aren't you trying to get females now? I had girlfriends in my life. I'm 44 years old. I had four or five relationships. So you have, I mean, you're like desperate for some kind of like third party you know attention uh no um it's similar to caitlin jenner's uh life story three wives but always identified as a woman i happen to be man woman man woman lately like trans feminine it, it does happen to a lot of people not just me yeah, but I don't understand, like, it's either a sexual thing or it's a role in society thing. I don't understand how you're saying, oh, I think I'm a woman today and then a man tomorrow. I mean, I'm just trying to gauge a rationale here. Well, I'm just saying that it's something that it's always been part of me. Uh, you, I, <laughs> you go to Main Street and you don't talk to the bar patrons about this stuff? I don't fucking go to Main Street. I just know about Main Street. I don't go there, all right? I'm just asking, though. I mean, um, is it the fact that you want to be a woman in a relationship and want to be, like, you know, kind of submissive and, and that sort of thing? Or is it, uh, you know, like purely kind of sexual? Like, you just, you want someone who is, you know, your sexual partner to identify you as a woman uh, in that scenario? How can I explain this? Um it's because it's who, who I am, you know. Uh, I know who I am and who I love, and uh, I just want my next girlfriend to accept who I am, a gender-fluid person that would go through trans-feminine phases every what, few years. I don't know. But what does that accomplish exactly? I don't, I don't understand what that does. You just say, I know what I am, but that, that's a very abstract type of explanation for you making a drastic move on wanting to change your gender. I mean, you have to, I mean, you know, you said, you've said that you've had this, like, deep-seated thoughts and stuff. I mean, it has to be sexual in nature, right? It has nothing to do with scoring or screwing. It does not at all. I'm being honest here. Okay, so give me an explanation on what it is. I mean, it's, is it a role in society that you wish that you had, like, the woman role? Um, I would say yes and no, uh, but I... In the past two years, I had a what they call an identity shift, which the LGBT community talks about. A person may go through changes in sexual and romantic identity. 
Well, now you brought up sexual. Right listen, listen. Well. I'm not saying that it's right or wrong what you're doing. I'm just trying to gauge, like, what's the rationale? And I never get a, 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 a actual answer. And I'm glad that you're saying that, hey, it's a sexual thing. So if it's a sexual thing, then why no, go to... It's not. Okay, well, then explain, like, what is it? Is it a role thing? Is, is it... Uh, you you want to be looking like as attractive as a woman? Is it like you wish that you can transition yourself and it may make you look better than the man you are today? Um, I really believe that this is what I'm going through right now. Um, but it's not fully clear if this is permanent. It, it's part of gender fluidity, like. But well, you're not. Well, you know, listen, listen, Mike. Mike, I respect your position. But I'm asking you and trying to get it out of you, like, if you're so passionate about this and you've made the decision to go and and potentially want to entertain a transition into another gender, I mean, you have to give some explanation other than, well, that's what I wanted to do. Why? Why? It's because I don't want to continue another 40 years uh, like you, like I I'm a man, it's not all of a sudden, I'm stopped to being a man, shifting to woman mode, and back and forth, back and forth. So it's a lonely thing. It's it's like you think that if you continue on, you've been 44 years as a man, and you're really obviously not very happy with it, you think that p potentially by doing this, it could you know give you some kind of other trajectory in life? It's a personal thing. It has nothing to do with sex or any. Why you're making it about sex? I just want to know why you want to do this. You keep telling me that that's how I feel. You can feel anything at any given moment. All right, Mike. You could feel angry and want to, you know, potentially want to feel like you want to kill somebody, but you know you can't. You know. I mean, you you know, you get cut off by some fucking old lady. You want to throw her down a flight of stairs and shit because she's an inconsiderate old bag, but you can't do that. I mean, you can't always do what you feel unless you have enough passionate about it and you and you can explain it in a way in which people can rationalize whether they agree with you or not, rationalize uh, what it is that you're doing. And you're not necessarily given a case on... You know you're, what you're doing. You're, you're you're just kind of you know going with what you feel, and what you feel is not always what you should do. Actually, gender identity is who you are in your head. That's that's not how you feel. It's who you are. Well, why did you get that way? If you don't know how you got that way, then you're just doing it out of pure absence, spite, and don't really know why you're doing it. I just know it's it's something that you're born with. It's, it's I thought you understand. You have a lot of transgender fans on your show, don't you? Well, I I've had this conversation with them, and most of them have either submitted to yes, it was a sexual thing, and I wanted to be a woman. I wanted somebody to do me like a woman. It's a sexual thing, and some of them are saying, well, no, I wanted the uh, societal position of what a woman is. You know, I want to be able to, you know, clean for a man. I want a man to treat me like a woman, you know, romance me and that kind of shit. I mean, both of them well, have... Go ahead. Well, I happen to have strong feminist beliefs. Women are not under a man. They're, they're people. I mean, you don't put a class of people in a lower position because... They are women, or they're gay, or they're trans. Yeah, well, they well, hold on, hold on, like hold on. We're not even talking about women. We're talking about you wanting to become a woman. Well, I'm not. I'm just expressing who I am. It has nothing to do with wanting to bow to anyone else. I, well, there's got to be a rationale. It doesn't, oh, this is just how I feel. If everybody did what they felt, we would be an anarchy. Do you understand that? Um, I'm going to have to end this conversation. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Oh, God. You see, listen, all of you see, he, he can't answer the question. He can't answer the question. I am not against whoever the hell wants to be transgendered or gay or whatever the shit is. This is how you have to talk to people and say, why are you doing this? All right. Are you doing this because it's a sexual thing?
I mean, and then look, I'm not agreeing with it. If you admit that, yeah, I'm fucking, you know, it's a sexual thing and I kind of want to, you know, whatever, you know, then I kind of understand. But man, I mean, come on. I mean, I just wanted an explanation when people explain that they want to be another gender or they want to, you know, I don't know, transition or they're non bi I just want an explanation on why you feel this way. And it's very hard to get an explanation from these folks until they finally submit to the fact that, yeah, I did it because I wanted to be sexually desired and I wanted to be sexually desired in a way as a woman and I wanted to be done like a woman, that, that sort of thing. And then they had the other side where, no, I wanted to be treated like a woman. You know, it's, it's, it's a, not necessarily a sex thing. It's, I want a guy to court me. I want a guy to ask me out. I want a guy to do this and do that. So I, I, just, I just would like people, if you look, these are very adult decisions that you're doing. You know, when you're out here, you know, doing these fucking kind of, you know, gay stuff and LGBTQ stuff, that is a very adult uh, thing to do. And if you can't explain why it is that you do what you do, then you are not in control of your mind. And I hate to say it, Mike, Mike D80, I mean, it didn't sound like you're in control of your mind. You sounded like you're just doing what you're told, in my opinion. Anyway, and look at uh, Eskerman, another successful conversion for ghosts. Son of a bitch, done it again. Yeah, right. Eddie324, another one turns trans on air. Great. Look, I was. I don't care what people do. I am not against what people do. I mean, I, I am the persuasion of if you're an American citizen and as long as you're not infringing on the rights of others, as long as you're not doing any kind of crime, as long as you're paying taxes, I, I think that you should do what you're doing. But you have to have rationale. And you see how I debated Mike D. Uh, that's how I, I'm talking about whenever I say extensive research into the gay community. That's what I'm talking about. Just in case I debate a gay. And you see, that's why I'm telling you, he doesn't know. He can't explain. That's how you have to debate these people. Because if they could articulate why it is that they are who they are, then that defines them differently from this fictitious, abstract, LGBTQ, waving a rainbow flag bullshit model that they're trying to feed everybody at this point in time. So anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm no rock sass. I'm pretty sure you're a fucking homo and you're fucking pissed off because I'm yanking your ass out of the closet, all right? We get it, all right? We get it. And let me tell you something. All the fucking gays that I've been exposed to, I have yet to find one monogamous gay couple or, or lesbian couple or any of that shit. Not one. All of them either have an agreement that, hey, you know what, we're kind of together, but... Uh, you know, I'm still on grinder. You know, I'm still doing my thing. Or or they're both doing it. It's fucking pathetic. And, you know, we're celebrating Pride Month. If the gays did have pride, they would be focused on, instead of being such a se uh, sexually promiscuous group of people, they would be focusing, if it was about love, they would be focusing on monogamy when it came to all these variants of relationships. But they fucking don't. But they don't. So anyway, I just had to do that for my own amusement. Because I, I just... If you debate all these gays, how I just talked to Mike 80, they're going to do you the same shit. And they'll either run away, or they're going to admit that, yeah, it, it's sexual fetish. <laughs> it's I'd this, that it's that. Now that you've killed some of our brain cells with that brain wad, call up the fifth... Dude, fuck you. All right? Fuck you. I'm calling 734 first, Radio Graffiti. It's Alexander the Resurrection, Radio Fucking Graffiti! YouTube, Facebook, for the HMA Man Dan Drops back in with the Super Office Show! It's your boy Dame Drops, and I'm about to take a big sloppy ass shit on ghost politics face. I just ate a big ass serving of cheeseburgers and fried chicken, so it's gonna be extra nasty. Oh hell yeah, Dame Drops! Get your big black ass over my face! Oh my motherfucking bowels are roaring, ghosts! Get ready for all that nasty ass chicken grease, corn oil, and cream beef, bitch! <laughs> Ah. 
Ah, ah, that's a good blended malt, baby. Yo, everybody, make sure y'all tweet at the Ghost Report. Hashtag slam the ham. That's right. Slam the motherfucking ham, baby. This fucking shit out here. Get this shit out of here. Get this shit out of here. Fucking dumb fucks! Alright! Yeah. You see, this is why I hate this fucking segment of the goddamn show. I hate it! And AI has made it a lot worse, you know? AI has made this shit a lot worse. You know, I wanted to shoot a shot. I can't even shoot a shot after that fucking disgusting bullshit that I heard. Fucking dumbass. Alright, let's take another one. Um, Who the hell is next? Um, Oh yeah, here it is. Where are they at? The Fifth Collective Radio Graffiti. Exposing the crimes against humanity committed by ghosts. This is the Fifth Collective News Network. Good evening, everyone. My name is Keith Relford. We bring you an update tonight on the horrific shooting spree that Thomas Ghost Albin went on previously. Fifth Collective News has obtained some of the 911 calls that came in shortly after ghosts began to open fire and target Puerto Ricans in San Antonio, Texas a couple weeks ago. Hello, 911. What's your emergency? I heard shots fired down here. I think there's a man shooting people. Hola, ma'am. Are you somewhere safe? Can you describe where you are? Oh, gosh. I think I see him now. He looks like he's a middle-aged man, he has a cowboy hat on, and he's in a hover-round wheelchair. I'm sorry, did you say a wheelchair? Yes, that's right. A hover-round. Oh. Oh my gosh. He's killing people. You! Suck my fucking car! No. Stay back. Get away from me. No! Ma'am? Ma'am, are you okay? Fifth Collective News has also looked further into previous ghost show recordings to delve deeper into the mind of this racist rampage. Previously, we reported how on the Ghost Show episode 82, Ghost openly admitted he hates Puerto Ricans. It turns out, however, that there was another part of that broadcast we missed. Beginning at the 2 hour, 11 minute, 31 second mark, Ghost resumes his racist diatribe against the Puerto Ricans wishing to get rid of the island itself. Again, if he tries to deny this, this was on the Ghost Show episode 82 at 2 hours, 11 minutes, 31 seconds. Play the soundbite. I don't like how these Puerto Ricans, they can come to our mainland, commit crimes, and then just go right to Puerto Rico and evade arrest. I'm tired of Puerto Rico. I mean, seriously, can we get rid of this damn island? Can we stop being financially responsible for these unappreciative people? I'm tired. I'm tired, dude. I'm not even joking around. I mean, look at what they're doing. I mean, they're rioting in the streets because their governor got caught saying he doesn't like gays or something. If that's not enough, just wait until what you hear immediately afterward as he outright admits to being prejudiced against Puerto Ricans. That's right, he openly admits it, plain as day. I mean, give me a freaking break. I'm sorry, I don't like Puerto Rico. I don't like Puerto Ricans, dude. I'm sorry. I'm not even kidding around. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, and look... I'm not racist in that regard. I'm prejudiced. That's a there's a big difference, okay? I'm prejudging Puerto Ricans based upon the actions of other Puerto Ricans that were inflicted upon me. Okay? That's prejudice. That's not racist. Okay? I'm sure there's good Puerto Ricans out there, don't get me wrong, but I haven't met them, okay? I haven't met them, and every time I've ever met a Puerto Rican, they're trying to steal, they're trying to connive, they're trying to, uh, you know, they're trying to do whatever it takes to, to, to get something for free off of you. We will continue to monitor this situation and bring you the details as they come out. Reporting for Fifth Collective News Network, this has been Keith Rolfer. Stay safe, shit. everyone. Shut the fuck up, man! Oh! All right, y'all want to fuck around like that? Fine. Fine! All right? I'm doing a fucking video. How do you like that shit? You fucking tards! 
And guess what? I'm going to do Viking Kyle's fucking video, which is probably like fucking, I don't know, a half hour or some shit, because you just dropped 44 fucking dollars, all right? <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. What? Your AI songs are trash. Your songwriting skills are worse. <sighs> you couldn't make a good song with a gun to your head. I'd rather trust some SoundCloud to make a song oh, over you your reach piece or die. Of shit, dude. You're not an artist. You're coping for your lack of skills. Fuck you, dude. I'm an AI artist, all right? Shut the fuck up! I'm an AI artist, man! I'm an AI artist! I'm an AI artist! So anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and get back to Radio Graffiti, I guess, all right? Let's go ahead and do that. Give us a call right now, 667-770-1015, and once the operator bitch starts talking, push in the code 844286, and once you do, you will be in queue to be a part of Radio Graffiti. And wait a minute, I am not a prompt jockey, you idiot. I'm an AI artist! And if you talk shit, I I'll end this fucking Radio Graffiti, you fucking piece of shit. Fucking assholes talking all that garbage, man. Anyway, I'm sorry. I don't know. Where, where am I at here? All right. Um, let's go ahead and, and, and take some calls here. Who do we have? Uh, we've got uh, 518 Radio Graffiti. What? You got an Obama phone. What are you saying? All right. Great. Thank you, Tard. All right. Here you go. Here, here's your Tard card. Uh, 773 Radio Graffiti. Uh, 773, you there? Yeah, how's it going, Ghost? What's up, man? <clears throat> Not pretty good. I, I got through you through your uh, capital, true capital on YouTube and shit, and couldn't be able to speak to you on there, so I came over here, and my God, I don't know what you're dealing with. A bunch of trying to make I mean, it is what it is. But there's a few things I want to ask you, and I don't know if you're going to be honest about it, but it doesn't really matter. One... You always take offense being called a boomer cause this, boomer cause that. Then you say the younger groups should just pick themselves up by the bootstraps. But the boomers had power for like four decades, and they destroyed this country. So you got to understand why people bitch about boomers. All right. Uh, anything else? Uh, yeah, I got another thing, too. You say you're a true patriot, but yet you're more welcoming to those that come across the border to fix your yard and hey, shit on your fellow countrymen. Hey, let me tell you something. You want to talk about fellow countrymen? Look at these tards in the yeah, fucking farm shed. They're fucking, oh, I'm going to dodge a trap. I'm going to dodge a trap. They're <laughs> fucking disrespectful fucking anti-American scum. Okay, but why do they want to dodge the draft, though? Because they they're fucking the brats. They're fucking brats. That's why. No, nah, no. Nah, well, some of them probably. Some of them... Look at, look at the profile pictures of these idiots, all right? They have the luxury. I'm sure. They have the luxury to be fucking waxing their carrots I'm and fucking sure. pre-teenage sure. cartoons I'm and video games. I'm just an average games. guy from Chicago, bro. I live around a bunch of these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like you and your gated community around a bunch of white people sitting there living the life. I'm on ground zero in Chicago. I see this shit. You don't see this shit. So what? What does that make you? What, you want a cookie? It means like, no, 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 no. It makes it like this. Like, you're sitting there saying that, oh, no, I want to invite more of these people over, claiming to be a patriot, but what the fuck, bro? You're not a patriot if you're doing that. You're I, not looking out for your country, man. Hey, this is a melting pot, sir, all right? No, we, it's not a melting pot. That's talk. Oh, give me a break. What what race no, are that's you? A God, what bro. race are you? I'm white. You're white. I am uh, white. And I what am, variant yeah. of white? What variant? What are you talking about? I'm Irish and German. What do you Irish, got a problem with that? Irish and German, all right? So, uh, first of all, did you know what uh, Hitler called fucking Irish? The, the, the fucking... I don't give a fuck about that dude. Oh. I don't give a fuck about that dude. I'm an American. Why the fuck do I care about Euro cucks? Well, the reason I'm bringing it up is because it was the fucking Irish and the fucking Italians that came in during the Ellis Island uh, uh, massive importation of those Europeans that created the fucking East Coast, you dick. If they would have never have come okay. along, we okay. would have never and? have had the buildings. Well, that's what I'm saying. Okay. The, the people that are here we now... We can build the Empire State built. Listen to this, listen. We had the Empire State Building built in one year behind what? Irish and German immigrants, right? 
one year we built the Empire State Building. We can't build shit. We can't build fucking shit without That's because fucking everybody's all these fucking a spoiled brat. Everybody's a spoiled no, fucking brat. No, it's called brat. corruption of the boomers is what it's uh, called. You guys get, have power for the fuck off. You're t- get this fucking guy out of here. First of all, it sounds like you're pissed because you're trapped in a socioeconomic situation where you're living in the shit part of the fucking south side of Chicago. All right? You need to look at that dickhead that you look at in the mirror every goddamn morning on why you're still fucking there, first and foremost. Secondly... Look at the people. Look at these jerk-offs. Look at the fucking anime cons, the comic cons. You know that I just fucking, uh, unfortunately, the tards, these 30, 40-year-old tards that uh, flagged the goddamn Twitter post that I posted, uh, it showed that over 40-year-old men, men that are over 40, are now the biggest fucking toy consumers as opposed to children. All right? So give me a fucking break. When I hear this, all the boomers, they did this and they did that. If the boomers were so fucking bad, you would not be living in a society where you have the fucking weak piece of shit comfort to anesthetize yourself with fucking stupid comic bullshit and game bullshit and toys and all this other crap. All right. So save your boomer shit for your your excuse to you give to that dickhead in the mirror every fucking morning. All right. Go fuck off. Oh, it's so bad out here. Uh, That's why everybody hates the boomers. You fucking idiots have expendable income to buy uh, body pillows of your favorite waifu. You've got fucking uh, expendable income to be buying bitches farts. All right, in a jar. All right, fuck you with your fucking complaining, you fucking piece of shit. I can't stand. This is why I appreciate, in, in, in some cases, I'm not saying all cases, these immigrants that come in here because they want the opportunity that you people take for granted, and you people have all the opportunity accorded to you at birth, and instead of taking that opportunity, what do you fucking do? You burn your money on stupid video games that you get bored off of after about a month of playing them. You burn your fucking money on stupid toys that nobody gives a shit about except you fucking idiot man children. If it was so bad, you wouldn't be able to do this kind of shit. If it was such a bad society, you people would be starving and not have bitch tits because you're drinking so many energy drinks and tendies as fucking goddamn meals and shit. All right? So go fuck off with this shit. I'm tired of you people talking all this shit. Oh, the boomers did this. The boomers did that. You're lucky the boomers not only existed, still exist. Because guess what? Look who's running for fucking president. Two 80-year-olds, asshole. You know what that means? That you stupid young generations, I'm, t- I'm calling you all out, Gen X, Millennial, and the goddamn uh, uh, Gen Zs, you people are such incompetent fucking dickheads that you can't even have or muster somebody to represent you on a national level that you can trust that you can run fucking for president. We've got two 80-year-old gas bags, all right, that are obviously, both of them are on obvious mental decline. And this is all we have because you dickheads are too busy playing your fucking video games and anesthetized with stupid anime girls that you're never going to get with anyway because you're fucking stupid idiots that live and pretend. All right? So fuck off with this, oh, the boomers did did, the boomers did that. You're lucky you pricks had the boomers. If the boomers weren't around, this would be a third world fucking country. All right? If the boomers weren't around, you fucking idiots wouldn't even know how to feed yourselves, you fucking piece of crap. If the boomers weren't around, you would all be fucking speaking another language because you would have all bowed down to fucking Russia or China or whoever wanted to muscle up and try to take us over because you're fucking weak, all right? You people are fucking weak, and that's why I champion uh, the people that love this country, that are from another country, that want to appreciate the Constitution, that'll fight for this country, that'll die for this country, and not dodge the draft because a couple of people out here are fucking too chicken shit to go out and serve their country when their fucking country needs them. So fuck off, all right? Give me a fucking drink. And we got Eddie, 324758. Ghost can only win a debate by muting his opposite. What, what was the debate? 
All he was telling me was that, oh, you hate all the immigrants. Yeah, no, that's why I asked him, who the fuck are you? Oh, I'm Irish. So it was okay for the Irish to come in here and be used as, uh, you know, I hate to say it, white slaves during the 1800s. I mean, nobody respected the Irish. I mean, the Irish are lucky that they're even living in the first world, if you want my opinion. Nobody in Europe liked the Irish. None of them. None of them. I mean, isn't the reason why we have black Irish was because, uh, was it like, a, I don't know, what the fuck, I think the Spaniards sent a bunch of Basques over there or some shit, and, and they, they did so much fucking that they turned these gingers into, uh, you know, black Irish fucks and shit? I mean, give me a break! All right, you're lucky you're even here, you fucking muck shoveling mick. All right, so get back to work and shut up. Jesus fucking Christ, give me a fucking drink. You could fucking go get a goddamn meal for five bucks right now at a fucking shitty McDonald's. They just brought back the $5 meal because you people are pissing and moaning. And, and by the way, I think it's ironic. You fucking morons piss and moan about, oh, I want a, I want a livable wage. I want a livable wage. Then you force these fucking corporations to oblige that. And as a result, because they up your pay, they've got to up the price for product. And you piss and moan about that. You people make me sick. All right. That's why I respect an illegal that'll work for whatever I pay them and be appreciative and do the fucking job and be here the next day to do it again. Not some fucking piece of shit that has been born here, all right? And it's a chore for this fucking prick to get up and go to work and be on time and be diligent and do the job, all right? So fuck you! All right, anyway, Viking Kyle, uh, what does your chosen friends think about the Goyim? What the fuck does that mean? And Viking Kyle, no such thing as black Irish doesn't exist. Dude, black Irish means that you have dark hair, you dumb fucking uncultured, no, no, no history about anything piece of shit. All right? No shit, there's no black Irish. Like black, you see, you think in race, you're obsessed about it, Viking Kyle. All right? Why don't you look it up? Black Irish means that Irish people with dark fucking hair. And how did they get that? The fucking, I think it was the Kingdom of Spain or some shit, fucking transplanted a bunch of Basques, which are a bunch of landless people anyway, and they did so much fucking when they got to the goddamn shores of Ireland that they changed the fucking population forever. So go fuck off. And look at uh, uh, Eddie32475A, ghost, I have autism. Uh, I'm ghost and I have autism. Yeah, go fuck off, all right? And look, there's people in here that are like, look, the Irish are literally they're, they're useless. You see, there's still hatred towards Irish. I mean, the only thing the Irish have done, aside from their work ethic and being brutes, all right, they evolved their women over there to have high cheekbones from all the backhands they've been giving their women over the past century. So I think that's probably one of the best things that have happened. Anyway, Vox Art Officials lost the argument award. Yeah, right. Go shut up. All right. You shut your stupid stinking salmon smelling hole. All right, where are we at here? Let's get back to the damn. Uh, let's get back to the damn show here. Uh, how, who, who's I supposed to pick up? Somebody, somebody donated, right? Somebody wanted me to pick them up. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, how about uh, eight one six radio graffiti? Are you fucking kidding me? You held your cheeks with a diarrhea shit in order to get called on to do that? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, God. All right. I, 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 great. Th thanks a lot, 816. We appreciate it. All right. Uh, how about 440 Radio Graffiti? Graffiti. The government totally sucks, you motherfucker. The government totally sucks. Ben Franklin was a rebel indeed. He liked to get naked while he smoked on the weed. He was a genius, but if he was here today, 
the governor would fuck him up his right to your day. Let me tell you something about the government. Oh, they're fucking up the end of virus. Hey, what is it? Taking all the fucking beautiful animals, yeah, and making them fucking extinct. Oh, no. The government totally sucks, you motherfucker. The government totally sucks. The government totally sucks. Because the land of love and freedom is just to fade his breath away. And if we all have us together, we can bring back the USA, the USA. Bring back the USA. Take this shit. Take this fucking shit out of here, man. I, I regret um, dedicating a baller Friday to this fucking show, man. I fucking regret it. I mean, I, I'll, I, I don't know why I do this shit. I really don't. How many donos do I have? Because I'm going to end this show, dude. I, I'm not fucking joking. I, I'm not going to waste my time with this shit. How many do I have? All right, I got one, two, uh, let's see, three, uh, four, five. Uh, what else do we have? Hold on, hold on. Let me see. We got five. I think we've got five left. Thank fucking God, dude. Thank fucking God. Get the fuck out of here, man. I think I could... Well, I can't make it a happy hour. Or uh, last call, I mean. It's already fucking one thirty. fucking piece of shit. I'll take a couple more radio graffiti callers, and then I think I'm going to get the hell out. I'm going to do these last videos and get out of here. All right? Uh, let's take some names here. How about... Uh, how about a can of soda, radio graffiti? And once Donald Trump's elected president, I plan on doxing the capitalist army. I know who you are. I'm, I, I can see you. I know who you are, baby. Uh, uh, all right, dude. All right. You see, you all want me to continue to be enthusiastic about this show, and then you do shit like this, man. <sighs> Jesus Christ. How about to 810 Radio Graffiti? <laughs> You quit the show, but still streaming. You are gangster shit. Yeah, that's that's a horrible rendition of Yoda. All right, you sound like you know Yoda's retarded brother. Uh, how about Cooper Trooper Radio Graffiti? Testing, testing. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, say, hey, guys, how's it going, man? I can tell the show is um is a hit or miss with this one. Yeah, it kind yeah, of is. Kind of is. Oh, man, yeah. Jeez, I mean, turn your fucking shit down, man. Come on. How about the Stone Santa rant, Radio Graffiti? Oh, yeah, why do I even pick that up? Of course, Stone Santa is deaf. All right, real funny, asshole. All right, real funny. Uh, how about uh, Streets of Rage, Radio Graffiti? There once was a ghost, a true capitalist host. He'd rage and he'd roar till he couldn't no more. For donos he'd yell, casting a magic spell. Shekel Goblin in disguise oh, Jesus. With mischief in his eyes Oh, Rage Ghost, oh, Rage Ghost Jesus Christ. We've seen your angry ghost A melting pot of booze In chubby boy's dark shoes Yosemite ham he be In his safe space you'd see Sally in the night, hiding from the light. Bars a comedy we boo, he'd never let it show through. Behind the mic, he scream, living out his stream of dream. Oh, rage ghost, oh, rage ghost. We've seen your angry post. A melting pot of booze in chubby boy's dark shoes. All right, you know, I'm 
fucking tired of this fucking show, man. <laughs> Goddamn shit! I'm done with this fucking show, dude. I, 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 I fucking dead. I dedicated a fucking ball on Friday to this shit. I need another fucking shot or something, man. I'm not. I'm not even fucking joking around. I'm tired of you people. All right. I should have never have dedicated a fucking ball on Friday to this bullshit. Never. Never should have. Anyway. I'm going to take another shot. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost fucking piece of shit trolls we hate the most, all right? Cheers, all right, to all the real fans out there, not these fucking troll terrorist scumbags. Cheers, all right? Uh, all right, let's continue. Oh, look who it is. Rock's ass radio graffiti. Hey, Roxas, you there? Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh? Huh, Roxas, you talk a lot of shit on the chat. Huh? Why don't you fucking talk now, you fucking piece of shit? Why don't you talk now? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Sit there and shut your mouth when you talk to me, you fucking piece of crap. Uh, how about, uh, who, phase disconnect, radio graffiti... I, I, I love little girls, they make me feel so good. Oh, I no. love little girls, they make me feel so bad. When they are around, they make me feel like I'm the only guy in town. I love little girls, they make me feel so good. We don't care if I'm a one-way mirror, or when I'm right by my cold exterior. We don't ask me questions, we don't knock the story, we don't. Look for answers, they just oh, want to hold me. Isn't this fun? Or is this just a blank small my thumb? Isn't this a brain come true? Isn't this a night that day? Oh, 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 I love little girls, they make me feel so good. I love the little girls, they make me feel so bad. When they're all around, they make me feel right, like I'm old. Why do you bring up Peppa, man? You all right, enough of this fucking shit. Jesus fucking hell, man. You know what, man? I, I just, I don't want to do this fucking show anymore, man. I don't want to do it. I'm done. All right. I should have never have dedicated a baller Friday to this bullshit. Oh, my God, man. All right, all right look. I... I mean, you know, I want another beer. I mean, like, yeah, yay, more beer and shit. I'm not, I'm not in the mood for this crap. I, I really am not in the fucking mood, man. I'm not in the goddamn mood for this fucking bullshit. I wasted a baller Friday for this crap. You know that? Oh, look at this fucking guy. Look at Viking Kyle. Look at this fucking guy. Look at Viking fucking Kyle. Start drinking before this. Oh, I'm not God. kidding. You better take a fucking drink, Ghost. I've been Last drinking. Warning. Ghost, you better drink now. Last warning. HTTPS I've been fucking drinking. You dick. Fucking bottles here. For watch fuck's question sake. mark V equals two ZLX song you. Fucking ass. I am fucking drinking, dude. What the hell are you talking about? Fucking drinking over here. I didn't want to drink. But no, you fuckers, you know, I, I could only imagine, you know, if you're fucking, you got a loved one of dying of lung cancer. Hey, have a smoke. Tch, fucking sick, macabre assholes, all right? Anyway, let me take, a, by the way, let me take a smoke and then we'll get back to Radio Graffiti, all right? Jesus Christ. Got to hold it and let it hit the brain, you know? Hold it and let it hit the brain. I could have been at a bar watching bare knuckle boxing, man. I'm actually getting into it now. I, they're, it's starting to turn into a rhythm. They're, you know, they're finally people. Yeah, you know, anyway, never. You, you people don't care. You people watch fucking fruity ass goddamn anime. What the fuck am I talking to you pricks about fighting? All right, uh, who do we got here? How about fawning over Pippa, Radio Graffiti? <laughs> All 
right. That's that's great. How about uh, Flapjack Jimmy, Radio Graffiti? Poop plus B equals no draft for me. 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 High IQ method. In case of a s- draft for some method of dodging that doesn't fuck you over. A lot of retards think they can get out of military, but blaming they hate and Jews to say that they aren't loyal to the government. All this is going to do is get you sent to prison and make you lose all of your gun rights or worse, you'll just be used as cannon fodder. However, there's a very high IQ way to get out of mandatory military service. Loop plus B equals no drive for me. Loop plus B equals no drive for me. Hey, you hear this? You, you see what I'm saying here, and you're wondering why I'm over here in embracing the immigration situation? This is what these fucking people in America are producing. They think it's great to hate their own country. They think it's great to dodge the draft when their country is in need and needs to be protected. Their fucking freedom, their lifestyle, their stupid, weak little fucking life of going and, and, and fanning over stupid fucking Japanese cartoons and all the stupid gaming bullshit. All right? This is why. All right? This is fucking why. Fucking pathetic fucking people is what we produce. All right. If the boomers are going to take credit for anything, if they're going to get any criticism, it's the fruity ass weak shit they popped out of their nutsack that are now adults. All right. These fucking wastes of life that have accomplished nothing. None of them accomplished anything. You know that if you take a look at the majority of the institutions of power, they are still controlled by boomers. Why? Because you two people, you fucking dumb young people are too busy doing stupid shit to waste your fucking time. And this is why I don't like video games. Because video games is the biggest life waster you will ever have in your life. All right? It's the biggest life waster. You're not learning anything. You're not gaining anything. You're just wasting your fucking life. And on top of which, because you're so enthralled with the game, your brain is probably rotting out from the inside out. Because the only thing that you can pay attention to is your stupid fucking video game. And we wonder why we have so many goddamn attention deficit disorder pricks. All right? So with that being said, all right, all of you people that are pissing and moaning about boomers, it's because you people are sitting on your fucking thumbs and you're fucking lazy. All right? Give me a drink. Ugh. And look at Eddie, 324758, save it for TCR. Why don't you trolls stay away from True Capitalist Radio, you piece of shit? Why don't you stay away? Jesus Christ. All right, let's get back to Radio Graffiti. I guess. How about Cal, Radio Graffiti? Uh, Who the hell is Ashton, Radio Graffiti? I can't believe Ashton was that Ukru's beggarly jiggly boobies fucker that always calls me a bitch on Twitter. What the fuck even is an uku anyway? Oh. Oh my. This is the hottest woman I've ever laid my eyes upon. Let's see. Uh, where can I find more pictures? What is this here? Uh, what is this GL Buru site? Uh, there we... Whoa, she's being milked in that picture. I can't help myself. Jack got me into cows, but this is close enough. Yeah, I would like to be breastfeed by you, Mommy. Mama. Who the fuck are you? What are you doing in my room? Stop jerking it to my wife, you fat bastard. Why I ought to take it to the wood sh- Wait, no, that isn't original. Uh. <clears throat> Why I ought to take it to the nursing home? Yeah. 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 Say, Uncle, you closeted furry fuck. I heard your cow comment earlier. Yeah. Uncle, yeah. Yeah. Make yeah. 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 And by the way, it's pronounced Oku, you dyslexic fucking retarded crippled. God damn it, you stupid fuck! God fucking. Oh. Fucking damn it, man! I'm sick of this shit! I'm sick of this bullshit! 
All right, man. I think I'm ending the show, dude. I'm not fucking just let me just do me. Let me just fucking do these last videos, and I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm done with this fucking shitbag show. I should have never have fucking don't dedicated a goddamn ball on Friday. I should have never have done this shit. And look, I even forgot my beer. Can somebody get my beer, please? Can somebody get my thank you? I mean, for fuck's sake. There's no, no, I'm not going, I'm, dude, I'm done with radio. I'm done with this shit. I'm fucking done. All right? I've been on, how long have I been on here? I've been on here for a fucking shitload of time. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, look, almost eight fucking hours. All right? Eight fucking hours. So I, I think I'm fucking done with this crap. All right? I think I'm fucking done. Ugh. <sighs> All radio graffiti or a troll war. Dude, look. Who, who's on here? Watch. I'm going to call random people, and they're not going to say a goddamn thing. All right? Watch this. Uh, who the hell? Ass Blast Enthusiast, Radio Graffiti. I'm a pretty big eater, and my turds are just too big for these modern-day toilets. Plunging just doesn't seem to work. Yeah, and I'm tired of having to cut up his shit with scissors. I don't remember this being in our wedding vows. If there were only a way that I could break up their turd before I flushed it. Now there is! Introducing the Turd Cutter! The Turd Cutter attaches to your toilet bowl right beneath the seat. Oh it's painted God. guillotine action. You, up you, your you fucking piece of shit. Are, are y'all trying to say that I ripped off Turd Cutter from that, you fucking dumb pieces of fucking shit? <sighs> I'm done, dude. I'm I'm done. I'm I'm fucking done. Yeah, fuck you people. All right, fuck all you people. All right, I'm fucking done. I don't want to take more calls, dude. I'm tired of this shit. I've taken this for almost eight hours, and I'm fucking done. I'm done with this shit. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Look at this, end show, end life, you know? <laughs> fucking fans, by the way, over here. I'm over here, I'm giving you my fucking blood, sweat, and tears. And do you give a flying shit? Do you give two rat's asses? Absolutely not! And that's why I habitually say on this broadcast that I fucking deserve more respect! Alright? I deserve more respect in this bullshit! Fucking empty this fucking crap. I'm over here fucking bending over backwards for these fucking people. And do I get any appreciation at all? Any look, I'm serious. Do I get any fucking appreciation? Huh? Huh? No! So why the fuck am I gonna sit here and continue to do what the fuck you stupid dumb fucking scumbags who do nothing but want to see my demise, man? You know? Dude, I don't want to talk about this. I'm fucking done. No, fuck you, movie night. I'd fuck you! Hannibal? What the fuck are you doing up this late? Fucking Hannibal? Fucking Hannibal? Hannibal? I've got to pick up, uh... I've got to pick up something on Radio Graffiti because fucking Vox Artificial or some shit, all right? So, Fry ran Radio Graffiti. Uh, hold on. You can't be pretending that you are a lolly connoisseur and then just, oh, I'm just joking. You can't, Come on, man. I mean, I, why would you even say that for somebody to even clip it so that somebody can be like, why? Why? It's a bit hypocritical of Ghost to use this argument against Pippa trying to be an edgelord by saying that she's a lolly connoisseur, just for a quick joke. But Ghost in the past has unironically told this to a viewer live on stream. You should have already been sexually active like at 11 years old. 11 I, years- I, I, Fuck you! That's a fucking- <laughs> God, Fucking shit! Alright, I'm fucking done. Get this shit out of here. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. I'm out of here. All right. Fuck all you people. All right. I over here. I've given you eight hours of my fucking life. And this is how you fucking guys are going to fucking do this. All right. That's fine. All right. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Fuck all you people. All right. I wasted a baller fucking Friday on you fucking pieces of shit. All right.
So go fuck yourselves. I'm out of here, all right? Fuck all you people. I hope all you fucking trolls die of cancer of the cock. I'm out of here and fuck all. W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-